I never got smarter as I got older. That was the problem. Some difficult weekend. Forget social media. I've gone through Range Rovers. I've gone through Mercedes. Hopefully you learn from mistakes. Am I happy about it? No. Don't get led down a path that doesn't feel comfortable to you. I'm a fan of you boys because you're Aussies, but I'm a fan of you boys because of you as people as well, like your personalities are awesome. I made a bet with Daz, I'm like, if I'm getting a championship, I'm gonna use my championship money to a house and then my, all my bonus money into a car. He wants the V10 ones. V8s are a lot cheaper. Daz built everything in life, he set a budget, and everything you see is just outside the budget. And we shook on it, I made sure. <laughs> oh, I made sure, I'm like, I'm gonna get this, all right? <laughs> I think why you guys have so many fans and followers, especially in the States, like you've stole the home crowd, it's because you're real and authentic. This dog went ho, ho! Yes, you have fun with it, but it's not forced. You know, and I think that's that's the most important thing. Are you flying at the test track? Yeah. That's all we ask in the office. That's what you want to know. Are you flying at the test track? Unbelievable. Okay. Unbelievable. You wouldn't believe how good I feel. All right. I can't wait for this season. The same thing every other guy. Two saying. seconds a lot faster. I never felt this good. All right, right, there we go. Like, you'll succeed when you have fun, but if you stay true to yourself, then everyone's going to love you because it's, it's you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. Did you get that film, guy? Did you have a baby film? <laughs> yeah. My worst nightmare is probably going back to it, how it was. I mean, yeah. the life I live now is unreal. You run back. I like to keep my distance. You know, the root of all evil is money, right? And, and at 18 and being a professional athlete with the world in his hands, but the money will be fine, it'll be there. I love my life, and because I love my life so much, that's what drives me. You know, Jet's a bit of a larrikin. He plays up to it. You know, he doesn't mind taking his shirt off yeah. for, the, for the ladies. <laughs> no brand. But that's him. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not, yeah. he's not taking his shirt off because someone's saying, take it off, you know, you'll get more followers. It's, it's just Jet. They working on his legs? You working on his legs? Yeah. All right. <laughs> crazy his shirt's off, bro. Why is your shirt off? <laughs> Huh? It was actually kind of cold, so I thought if I took it off, it might keep the area up <laughs> Alright, start it with a bit more cool stuff. I didn't know how to start with more usa. Just let me freestyle. I'll, okay. I read a freestyle, yeah. okay? You can do it. Oh, I already... The Moto Academy and Jet Lawrence have partnered to bring you the world's most... Advanced. Interactive. Interactive. And you can just keep going if you want. Yeah, go for it, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm <laughs> I think Darren and Emma have done a great job. It's not... It's not yours, it's it's ours and it's all for you, right? There's no there's no selfishness towards that. You get a shot of the shed for a before and then when you see the after. But that might be in three years time. This is how how to whip up some random crap with Jet. <laughs> it drives me because I do not want to be broke. I don't want to go back to what we're having two minute noodles at night for dinner. We gotta flip up. So who's your new team? Tell us who. Was that Lucas? Yeah, look at me now, Lucas. This your new team? Yeah. It's your fault you didn't sign me. <laughs> so you're KDM now? Yep. Coming from nothing, it just creates such a gnarly hunger and drive. When that dollar hits those accounts, it gets squirrely. It's a mistake that's been made by a lot of families. It won't happen with this family. They're earned every cent they'll get on and off the track. Do you know how much money you make? Um, I mean, I bring it up a few times, like asking, but I got a few rough estimate of money, like of money. But um, my parents and 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 my manager are really good at kind of saying, "Hey, if you do your job right, the the money will come in." So put too much seasoning on the bison again. <clears throat> I have shit all in my face, right? Don't no, I? No. Oh. He'll do huge numbers this year. He'll do more on apparel than most riders will earn all year uh, on gross sales. Now getting older, I want to know, like, guys, how much am I actually making here? So I'm getting closer to moving out. So it's obviously good to know. And I think uh, we're talking it with Lucas and my dad and I. If everything goes to plan and 
Yeah, easily six, seven digits, so. What if Honda can, like, make an offer and get you back? Hmm. If there's a new iPhone 13. Step back. What, an iPhone 13? What if they send you some team clothing and stuff? I try not to model myself on anyone oh, who's an agent oh, before. Great. I kind of oh, just, doesn't matter what I am or what I think of agents, it's about what I'm doing. I just got to be true to that particular athlete, to that particular deal, to that particular sponsor. Hey, Jack, that's pretty funny. How did that come about for you? Taking a dad on the podium, what, what made that happen? I have to try and make it a quick story. Engine parts guy. Every Friday, box of donuts, sneak one at least, and he ended up uh, eventually leaving. No one filled his shoes in to bring the donuts in on Friday. Made a bet with our team manager. If I go 1-1, one, one, you have to bring donuts and I'll eat it straight after. You have to carry the box of donuts down there. And I just put a Ziploc. Well, whatever. We just need the donuts and put it. As soon as I got off, I, I hooked into it. Where's my donut? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Now I'm kind of known as the donut kid. I was literally in the stands going, what the f is he? Is that a, is that a donut? I wrote my heart out and I wrote it for this donut, so I'm gonna enjoy it. How are you feeling about having a um, food truck and like these donut stores to get the donuts and that's the, that's the plan for us to try and establish, I guess, the concept of stores, having a really cool looking guest and donut uh, at the, the venues. Hell yeah. Just make like the Jetson a different color than the yeah, donut. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could do that to make it might make it stand out a bit more because that logo is cool. In motorsports or motocross, supercross in general, right? You're selling them on brand credibility. What's up, buddy? Hey, Dave. How are you doing, bud? Good. What are you doing that Cowboys hat on, man? I spoke with Fowles and kind of pitched them, so they're all on board to do your own apparel. My ideal situation is to do the Jetson Donuts in the stadium. Sell the donuts there, yeah. right? Our own the Jetson Donuts. Sick. Sell that, and then have your own 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 kind of zone, fan fest. So like Jetson, he'll get on the green, and he could have a 100 foot putt for a five yard oh. putt, and he'll look at it from 12 different Great angles. Putt. And everyone else will be done putting, and we're still waiting for Jet. Just hit it, mate. Look, you should know. Like, you, you've been here for two minutes, three minutes now. What was the ball you picked up in the fairway? That's a tailor-made too. That's but not mine. That wasn't yours? No. I had huh. a tax man. Interesting. I didn't hit another ball, dipshit. They all love them. They just want to, you know, how does, how does it work both ways? How does it benefit Jet and the sport? It's always really hostile when there's bad golf being played. That's a drop. Yeah. Penalty oh, drop. Okay. Thanks, Jetson. We're good, bud. We don't need your two cents. I'm just making sure you know it's a drop. So, what's the point in winning if you don't share it? What's the point of being popular if you don't share it, right? So, like, giving away 200 donuts every morning, right? Again, giving people memories, giving, enhancing their day at a sport that hasn't changed the format or changed what they've f***ing done in so long. Where are you going, you idiot? Jet, honest to God, you're gonna end up in that bush again if you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you're like freaking, what's her name? Dory off of Nemo, short memory loss. Well, short I won't say what you're loss. like then, because you'll probably get offended. See my mates over there doing the green grind, yeah? See? See we get his attention. The bigger play on this is the brand we're building, the access to those fans, and, and grow that footprint of, of a Jet Lawrence fan, their ability, their access. I love the kid. I think, like I've talked to you about before, I think yeah. he is one of those guys, the McGrath or the Stewart, and now the Jet, really only three that I've witnessed in my lifetime. Yeah, what's happening, buddy? I got to take um, video. It's a flashlight in my eyes. I'm not gonna be the, the agent that says, oh, we're too cool to do that. Go go hide in your motorhome. You've reached such, such a level of success, now you don't have to do that. Bullshit. Now we're gonna do more of it, and we're gonna do it better than we did it before. Yeah, I, didn't <laughs> the flashlight I gotta work. take videos. Oh, can't see. But we gotta take see. video. Right, is that better? Oh, no, it's still in my eyes. And the better memories you can give, the bigger impact you can have, business, personally, for the better of the world, you got to embrace that. Don't judge, okay? Rude. Rude to judge. <laughs> Helmet? 
<laughs> this chain is very stringy. I grew up watching all sports, but motorsports a lot, and I love two wheels. So as a kid, like I would, me and my mates, I had BMX bikes on the weekends. We would, you know, dig up a few little tabletops and, and get a few feet of air and think we're legends. Think we're on the Krusty Demons tour. X Games um, spec. X Games, what's <laughs> up? But uh, <laughs> so I always loved it. Was I good? No, I wasn't good, but I loved it. And then I followed it. So yeah, I loved X Games. I had a Pastrana poster on my wall. I think we are on a different level for the fact that we've made the sacrifice mm. to leave Australia. I mean, you guys made some serious sacrifices and I think that is, yes, it's a sacrifice, but it's only gonna help us. The first year I was here, my first moto win and podium, it was like, sick, that's what I'm capable of. But then from then on, like it was kind of, it was really questionable up until the start of this year, really. Like I always had that belief, like, yeah, I am gonna be here, I am gonna like race here for the rest of my life, like this is what I'm gonna do, but it wasn't as, as concrete as what it is now. You're your own man, and I think people love that and respect yeah. it. Uh, I love the whole brother thing as well. I love how you guys support each other. That's super strong. Jealousy and this sort of crap is, is a cruel thing in this world, and I, I love that you guys don't have that. Oh! Oh! Did you get it? Please tell me you got that. <laughs> Hunter and I have only started to really get along like really good as close since the last few years, really. When you're, you're growing up as kids, the, the four year age gap feels more, you know, because like obviously certain ages, things start to pick up faster and faster, whereas now the four age year difference isn't as, as big as what it used to be as kids. Like I'll look back over time and be like, oh yeah, I, was, I did some dumb stuff, but you kind of need to make mistakes to know what's right and what's wrong or what you like and what you don't. So I think just don't get caught up in something that isn't you. You know, don't get kind of led down a path that doesn't feel comfortable to you. Like, it's still proud, but the only thing that ever hits a parent's heart, I guess most parents, or is actually the human being that you raise. You know, when Hunter and Jet gave each other a hug at the end of Salt Lake City, that shows the true feelings of how much they love each other. And the Lawrence brothers are on the podium at the East West Showdown. Darren doesn't get too emotional, but he was pretty, pretty pumped on that too. And for them to both finish second and third in the Supercross Championship um, from where they've come from, it was, it was, yeah, it was pretty emotional all round. We may be brothers, but when the helmet comes on, he's an opponent and, and uh, I'm gonna do what I have to do. I obviously wanna win, like obviously I wanna smoke him and beat his ass. To us, they're our kids still, so you don't sort of see them in the same light that the world may seem. It's weird, it's like, oh, we're not putting on an act. I mean, we're just Australian kids having fun. I'm further on in my career, so a little bit of me thinks about this a little more as well, in like, what am I gonna do post-career? Uh, and how can you set things up now to kind of help out later on? That's what my goal is, is when I want to leave, I want to try and make Supercross way big. I want to build Supercross up to where celebrities are coming. It takes a certain level of like cockiness in a sense to kind of think yes. that you can be that guy. I, I mean, I know you spoke to like Pastrana and you spoke to Hanson. Did those guys give you advice in, in a way too for like where you're kind of at right now? They both said, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting the hard work and don't try and rely on your talent. And since then, I've kind of gone off like, yeah, that's, he's, he's right. Nowadays, he can't just go off talent. You know what they call this jump jet? What? The million dollar jump. Why is that? Because Travis <laughs> cost him his Supercross career. Oh, oh. Could have been a million dollar year. I can see his logic. Like, it's definitely doable. Yeah. They say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. It's a good point. You got so, a solid point there. Once or twice a week, I think of how blessed I am, even when i am got my pants on fire and I'm in a dozer or I'm working on a motorcycle. 
where I'm working 10 or 12 hours a day. I don't class it as work. It's a decision you make and it's a mental frame of mind that I think is, um, is the biggest thing. Just know how blessed you are and how lucky you are. And, and so I do think of it, the reality of what, when I'm driving to work, to go work with my sons to achieve a championship or, or to reach their dreams, 100% pinch myself. So blessed.